Now we start with the latest on the coronavirus situation in South Korea. The country is expected to see cases hover around the 4,000 mark once again today. Authorities are coming up with ways to tame the spread, but finding a solution doesn't seem to be easy. Very difficult indeed. For more on this and other related updates, I'm happy to say we have our reporter Che Min Jong in the studio with us. Good morning. Good morning. So Min Jong, how many cases are we looking at on this Friday? Well, the uh, country is forecast to see numbers hover around the 4,000 mark once again. From midnight to 9 p.m. Thursday, there were more than 3,200 cases confirmed. This is up by more than almost 200 cases from the day before. Authorities are on high alert as the capital Seoul continues to witness over 1,500 cases. Hospital beds for the severely ill are filling up quickly, and there are only 50 left in Seoul. The number of people being treated at home has also increased drastically. Almost 3,700 people living in Seoul are currently being treated at home, and compared to the day before, this is an increase of over 560 patients. Meanwhile, more than 80% of Seoul's uh, population have been fully vaccinated, but over 30% of the new infections are breakthrough cases. Right, Min Jung, but yesterday we heard that authorities have met to discuss strengthened um, distancing measures, but we heard that this has been cons the announcement has been postponed. Right, they were originally set to announce tougher antivirus measures today, but the authorities failed to reach a conclusion after Thursday's special meeting on pandemic response. Some of the plans that came up during the meeting was ramping up vaccine booster shots for seniors and expanding vaccine pass mandates to those under 18 as well. This means teenagers will soon have to be vaccinated or test negative for COVID-19 in order to enter facilities like singing rooms or public baths. There appears to be um, talks on mandating vaccine passes in restaurants and cafes as well, as well as reducing the number of people allowed for social gatherings. The government's delay in making the decision suggests that it's not an easy task to please everyone with strong opposition from small business owners. Now, you touched upon the government's efforts to ramp up the uh, distribution of these booster shots. What exactly is the current plan? Well, as of now, their goal is to complete booster vaccinations for seniors aged 60 and over in December. The KDCA chief, Jung eun -kyung, says that it is crucial to speed up this process as even those vaccinated are getting infected due to waning immunity. Because it takes around four weeks to form immunity after the additional shot, Chang says it's, it's important to reduce contact with others during that time. Now, Min Jung, how are things going with the vaccinations for younger people? Well, vaccination rates among teenagers are varying greatly by age. As of Thursday, four out of 10 people aged 12 to 17 have received first doses, while 17% are fully vaccinated. If you look at ages 16 to 17, seven in 10 people have received first shots and close to half have completed vaccinations. But in the lower age group from 12 to 15, less than 2% have been fully inoculated. And data shows the lower the age, the fewer people getting shots. And meanwhile, the risk of infection among students has increased with the resumption of full in-person classes. And authorities are advising younger kids to get vaccinated. This comes as an average of 400 students are getting infected in a single day. This being said, authorities have extended vaccine reservations for teenagers until the end of this year. Those aged 14 and over may also reserve leftover vaccines through Kakao or Naver. Well, I hope that latest move could help ramp up vaccinations for younger people. Anyway, Min Jung, thank you so much for your report. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.